Okay, Evolution of Jazz, Module 2, the, two, the Development of Jazz in New Orleans. We're on to the second module. We're going to uh, talk about the fact that jazz developed in New Orleans, which was a place that had people from all different cultures and all different uh, backgrounds, which helped the development of jazz music. And in fact, in this module, there's a video of a guy doing a tour of important places in New Orleans, and he discusses the buildings that still exist Congo Square and what the importance is. Watch that video because it gives you the full history of the importance of New Orleans and the development of jazz music. We're going to learn about the fact that the first jazz recording took place in 1917 by the original Dixieland Jazz Band. And what that means is if that was the first jazz recording, everything before 1917, we can only imagine what happened. We can base our ideas on what we think the music sounded like, but there was no real recordings. In fact, it's very interesting. Uh, there's a trumpet player from the early 1900s, Buddy Bolden, a friend of ours, <clears throat> a friend of ours who does our sound for the uh, Lieutenant Dan Band, is actually working on a movie about Buddy Bolden with Wynton Marsalis, the great trumpet player, doing the music. The interesting thing is, here's Wynton doing the music of a person who was never recorded. So we're only imagining what the sound of Buddy Bolden was like. But that's talked about in that video. Uh, we're going to discover King Oliver and one of the first great drummers, Baby Dodds, who played with Louis Armstrong, who was one of the first great soloists in jazz. We're also going to discover Fletcher Henderson, who had a large ensemble in the 20s, Jelly Roll Morton, um, and Frankie Trumbauer, and a bunch of other personalities from the beginnings of jazz. Hope you enjoy it.